Korea. Three spots in Saturday's semifinals have been decided. One more will be decided tonight. Either China or Korea will meet the USA on Saturday afternoon, and we're 30 minutes away from deciding who it will be. As we say, a pleasant good evening to all of our viewers around the world watching our coverage of the World Pair Ice Hockey Championships. Alongside Jamie Neugebauer, I'm Darren DuPont. And Jamie, we were treated to a great quarterfinal matchup earlier this afternoon, one in which Czechia beat Italy 4-0. Tonight, China and Korea are trying to punch their ticket into the quarterfinals for the Koreans. They're going to have to find a way to get on the board. Through three preliminary, preliminary round games, just one goal. I mean, they were facing a very tough pool where they had to face both Canada and the U.S., but today, the offense needs to find their way. And you know what? If you're Korea, Darren, you can kind of throw it all out. Here is the matchup you kind of wanted, the rematch of the bronze medal game from the 2022 Paralympics in Beijing. Korea was shut out for nothing in that occasion against their East Asian brethren, the Chinese. You know they want to do better than they did in the group stage. You know they want to do better than that and show better than they have. They've been a good para hockey country for a while, the Koreans. Don't take them lightly. Well, they're in the A group, and you got to look at the uh, starting lineups for the Koreans here. And Hyuk Jung Choi, it'll be up to him to stop this high power Chinese attack offensively. On the other side, you'll see some of the Chinese stars. Yi Fang Shen will be the big one. He leads the tournament in scoring through the preliminary round. As you get a look at Seho Kim, the Korean coach, and there is that Chinese lineup. Zhidong Wang is the other half of that Chinese dynamic duo. So we get set and ready to go here. We get a look at Ji Yin, the Chinese coach. They've got a great support system here in Musha. And the Chinese faithful were loud when the teams were introduced. Set and ready to go here today. It's Shung Yung Lee on the faceoff for Korea. Jin Tao Tian for China. And we're underway. A one faceoff by the Koreans. And this quarterfinal on a Friday night, often underway. Puck comes back to the blue line now. Hong Chu held it in. Now Tien into the high slot. Tien waits, shoots! Just wide to the left of the goal. Hook Jun She is in net for the Koreans. And no doubt the Chinese are going to continue to press forward, and they will. Yi Fong Sheng. Shen into the circle. Waits, makes a move, and knocked off the puck neatly there by Hong Chu, but a penalty call interference and we're going to see an early power play here as China's going to get the advantage. And we're going to talk about the officials as they call a penalty. There's Matt Firkenbaum from Ontario, uh, Canada. Dylan Dauphiny from Nova Scotia, Canada. And Andreas Lundin of Sweden are the three who have this big quarter final. And I should mention Matt Firkenbaum did lines the bronze medal game in Beijing 2022 so they'll know some of these players well. So China to the power play for the first time in the hockey game. They've got the number two power play in the tournament. Five for nine through the preliminary round. A dangerous power play. Going to work here to get things started in the opening period. First real opportunity. Shen. Back at the line. Set into the corner. Tien. Back up top. For Wu. To Tien a shot. Tried to go upstairs on the short side. Yi Fong Shen. Gathers the loose puck, moves into the slot, across for Tien. Tien waits, turns in the slot. Now it's a shot go. And that was stopped with a great job by Shea. To the line, not out, held in. Now Tien touches that puck and does bring it outside the blue line. 
Young Jian Wu is there as well. Now Shen taking it wide. Shen has got speed touch to drive it and bring it in on the short side. Yifong Shen, just 25 years old, he is so fast. And is able to create so much room. Now knocked out of the air neatly by Jian Fu Ju. Into the front, Tian. Lost it for a second, and it's into the corner. Yiyun Ryu for Korea will clear it out to center ice. 44 seconds to go here in the Chinese power play. The opening period, long lead feed. That's out of the reach of everybody, but look at Shen. That's the speed. Beats out the icing call. Shen works his way in. Now a shot. That was stopped. Shen, centering pass. They score. The one-time shot. And Gung Jian Wu has opened the scoring here in the quarterfinal. And there you see the Chinese power play. Darren, you mentioned it. Five for nine in the tournament. Puck pursuit, excellent. They deal with pressure well. They deal well if you sit back. It doesn't matter. And a simple finish from Yu Tao Shui to finish that one. Shen, who had... 11 goals and one assist with another assist there and boy oh boy that Chinese power play is hard to stop. It's so good at moving the puck around and they're so fast which creates such an advantage but you just can't take penalties against this team. They're now 6 for 10 on the power play. And I was going to start to sing the praise of the Korean penalty kill. They were being much more aggressive. They were doing a much better job than they did, especially against Canada, in which Canada was five for six. As you look at the goaltenders there, Ji Yen, Zhao, part of me, that's Wei Wang in the net for China. And one of the stars of the tournament, truly, in the Korean net, Yuk Jun Choi. He's been really, really good when called upon, and that's been off. China back on the attack. Zhidong Wang leaves it there for Zhu. Back for Zhidong Wang. Wang being pressured. Back at the blue line. It's Chui. The goal from Utah, Chui, his first of the tournament. And a good time to get going here in the quarterfinals. Lee now for Korea. To the wall and out to center ice. And Chui's got to skate back after it and does. Yi Tao Chui. Up ahead. Hong Wan Lee at center. Zhu Dong Wang moves into the corner as Dian Pong works the puck. Down low, Huang Guan Lee coming in to help out, and the Koreans have control. Zhang Ho Chong to the blue line. Held in by Chui, but we got a penalty call against China. And it's going to be a call for teeing. And so the teeing penalty is when, the, when you hit with the front of the sled, just like it sounds. It's an illegal move in para ice hockey. And Zhu Dong Wang is going to be penalized for this one. Yeah, Korea 0 for 7 with the power play. And you always talk about if you're going to stage an upset, you need to have good special teams. You see the really clear teeing right there by Zhu Dong Wang of China. Opportunity for Korea to get in the offensive zone. As you look at the Chinese bench, they're going to have to do without one of their very important defensemen in Jin Chang Chu out tonight. Especially in terms of penalty killing, defensive zone situations, he's really important for them. Not in the lineup tonight, neither is Shu Song Bei, though he's had some, been out a couple games here for China. Opportunity for Korea. Shot right off the face off. Held on, right in the glove. And an opportunity for Korea on the power play. They're one of four teams in the tournament without a power play goal. 0 for 7 as you get the shot right off the draw. Well, you do yourself such a big favor. It sounds like an obvious thing to say in all situations when you win the draw. Zhang Ho Zhang did a great job winning that face off, and there was traffic, so it was a nice save by Wei Wang. Korea 
Kuzmir sends the puck in. But it's Yifong Shen flipping it off the wall. He's got Tien going, but he's going to be offside. Jintao Tien was a little overzealous trying to catch up with that play off the wall and just slides in ahead offside. 132 to go here on the Korea power play. But how about the speed from Yi Feng, Yi Feng Shen, Darren Wow. He just skated by three blue jerseys, just a little offside ahead of him, Jin Tao Tian, but shorthanded China, very dangerous. Lead the tournament in shorthanded goals with two so far. Buck comes to the wall all the way down the ice. Tian is trying to beat this puck into the corner. It's a race for it with Jung Sung Kim. Korea comes away with it. See, right through the neutral zone. That was chopped out of the air. Tian has it for China. He knocked off the puck neatly by Jung Sung Kim halfway through the power play. Now at the blue line. Hard check and the play is offside. And we've seen Yi Fong, Shen, Darren, not just an offensive dynamo, he loves to throw the body, loves to kill penalties. He really is a superstar in all facets in para hockey. He can shoot with his right hand, got to learn to shoot with his left. Maybe that's the one area, but he can fly, he'll hit, he's gritty, trusted in all situations. Lee wins the draw for Korea. To the right side for Kim. Jung Sung Kim to the goal, they score! Tie game, the power play goal. Sun Yun Jung. Just like that, Korea answers. And Korea had one goal coming into the game. Sun Hwan Jung had it. Now Sun Hwan Jung has two, and Korea has two. So if you're the Koreans, the right man in the right spot, a beautiful feed out in front from Young Sung Kim. And Korea, not a bad start at all, despite the power play goal. They answer back quick, exactly what their coach Tai Ho Kim would have wanted there. I think it's important, you know, to remind everybody watching that, you know, Korea only had the one goal. But when we're in this championship, as opposed to a traditional, you know, world hockey championship, the pools are weighted. So pool A versus pool B, pool A is USA, Canada, Czechia, Italy, it's a very big pool. Pool B is the second tier. So Korea was playing in the, in the top tier pool during the preliminary round. China was at the top of the second tier. So things do even out when we get into the quarterfinals and we start to blend the pools together. And it's a great point there too, because we saw the real uptick in speed that the Italians had to deal with from the Czechs in that first game as well. And it's the Czechs and the Koreans, the bottom two teams in pool A that end up being in the quarterfinal. The top two teams from the pool move on to the semis. And of course, Italy and China, or China and Italy in that order, the top two teams in Pool B that advance to the quarters. Coming up tomorrow morning, Norway and Germany will play in the 7-8 game. Sunday morning, Italy will await the team that fails to advance here tonight in the 4-5 game. Yi Fong Shen couldn't get the puck cleanly off the faceoff. Tied up by Shin. The puck is out of play. And I think we're going to get a stoppage. And just quickly, this is the highest shooting percentage team in the tournament. China, 27%. Korea, the lowest. But good start. and water isn't just a name. It's a promise to put you and your loved ones first. Because with cleaner, softer water, you can feel confident about your water. Culligan Water has been the local water expert since 1936 when we pioneered the water softener. 
we've continued delivering unmatched service by meeting you where you are, whether it's where you live or where you work. And your satisfaction has always been our greatest reward. But that's not all. Culligan Water offers a responsible and economical alternative to the waste created from single-use plastic bottles. Our systems make it easier to preserve the planet, its landscapes, and its oceans. Because at the heart of everything Culligan Water does is a commitment to provide better water for a better world. China's back to the power play. So a delay game penalty for the puck going up and out of play. China to the power play for the second time. They're one for one so far in the hockey game. Buck comes out to center ice. Down into the corner, China trying to get this power play set up. That'll be broken up. It's intercepted by Yung Sung Kim and sent down the ice and right on goal. Wei Wang, the Chinese goaltender, leaves it there. And they'll start the breakout now. Yung Jian Wu up ahead to center ice, tried to find Shen. He was tied up by Byung Song Cho. Now Shen. Had a player with him in Jin Jung, but couldn't get the two on one started. It's right back down the ice. There's an interception now. Cho dropping this puck off for Dong Shin Chan. He can't get it deep. And now two are away. Two on one. Tian for Shen. Shen has speed. Right side. The shot sent just wide. Sun Hyun Jung. Great job defensively, but they come around and score anyway. Around the net in front. And who else? Yi Fang Shen. 2-1 on a pair of power play goals. China retakes the lead. It's just, it's just breathtaking, Darren, how fast Yi Fang Shen can get up the ice. He's such a shark. He moves so quick, wrapped it around. Not much Yung Juk Che could do about that. And it's a beautiful finish, and the Koreans having a hard time killing penalties here. That is sinking them so far in this first period there. Two power play goals. And for Yi Fang Shen, his tournament leading 12th goal of the tournament. This kid's fun to watch. He is absolutely electric. Boy, oh boy. He can fly like if there's a, like, at the Paralympics, if he was to enter in speed skating, I feel like he'd have a shot, because he can absolutely motor. He really can. Now China back to work here. Into the zone. Korea on the breakout, that puck turned over. Opportunity, Ju, and they score! Jan Fu Ju to Judon Wang, three to one, China. And that's just too easy for China. You turn pucks over, you make it easy on them. It's this is what's going to happen. Judon Wang with the easiest goal of his life. Jan Fu Ju, an hour and a half to pick him out. Nothing the goalie can do. All the blue jerseys up the ice. A lot of looking around, a lot of frustration on the eyes of the Koreans on that shift. Got to find a way to dig in if you're Korea right now. Two goals, 33 seconds apart for the Chinese. Here in the opening period, they've got the insurance marker. It's three to one. Puck at the blue line now is Korea trying to answer. Dong Shin Chan sending that puck in. the blue line. Held in by the Koreans. Young Sung Kim to the goal. They're putting on pressure now. Sun Hyun Jung trying to center it. And Wang Wei is going to handle that and hang on. So the Koreans with some pressure right back. 
Well, that's how they have to respond. But the Chinese bench, as you see there, their coach, everybody's been saying to us, yes, they are destroying the B pool. Wait till they get to the A pool. Well, let me tell you, at least against Korea, Chinese have looked very comfortable there. And their speed game, their transition game, still very, very good. Korea now off the wall, down the ice. So they're going to call this icing. And the faceoff will come right back down at the other end of the ice. We know China's fast, but Korea has been able to play with them a little bit here in this opening period, back and forth. And they have a good pushback after going down two goals, but they need an answer for that speed on the perimeter. China. Absolutely. And part of that, Darren, is turning pucks over. Can't do what the Koreans just did on that last shift. Yi Fung and them will destroy you if you do that. Doesn't matter if you're Canada, USA. Even. Ryu for Korea. Held in at the blue line. Long shot by Jan Fu Ju. Who assisted on that insurance marker from Wong. Now down in the corner. Jin Jung all the way around. They'll be able to hold it in at the blue line. Ju Liu. Down low for Jean. He turns as it goes off the end of his stick. Korea, hard hit into the boards. That was Shen, and he's got the puck now in the corner. Takes a hard hit from Zhang Ho Chong. Shen, looking for an outlet. Drops it off for Zhu. Back to Shen. Shen, feathers it behind the net. Zhang giving chase. We'll get to it. Up the top with Liu. Can't get it cleanly. And away goes in to Liu. To center. Takes a hard bump from Shen. Yang Feng Shen. Up ahead now. Zhu to Tian. Tian with some room into the slot. Waits, another move, and it's knocked off his stick. Great defensive play from Young Sun Kim of the Koreans. Back at the blue line now, Jan Fu Zhu. Jin Tao Tian with the puck in the circle. A long shot up high and into the glove of the Korean goaltender, Kyung Jun She. Jung Dong Wang has added a goal to make it 3-1 China here in the first. Good morning! So I got another parking ticket. Play 92, number one for throwbacks. It's Connor for Play 92. We'll catch you later. Is it time to take your event online? Bring it to IKS Live. We've got a fully customized virtual event platform with remote guest support for your next fundraiser, talk show, conference, performance, and more. IKS Live offers live streaming to Facebook Live and YouTube and pre-recorded capabilities, both in our studio with green screen available and on location with pre-production and post-production services. Visit us at ikslive.ca. Just a big collision between two Koreans. Jang and Shin created a great opportunity for China. You see it right there. And Jin Tao Tian with a great opportunity as a result. Korea dodged a big bullet there, Darren. Face off will be inside the Korean zone. Off the draw, Sung Wan Lee in back of the net. Lee off the walls to Yi Tao Chui. Quickly across, nice little move. And Jian Wu in a shot on goal is stopped and hung on to by Shea. Excellent stop by the Korean netminder and their supporters, yeah, they're excited. Get loud. Love those Korean jerseys, by the way. Great save by Hyuk Jun. Shea didn't play a lot in the Paralympics, but very talented goalie when he's given the opportunity for Korea. On one lead of the blue line, it comes out the line, and Gunjian Wu has to turn back, sends it in. 
Chance on the breakout. Young Sung Kim for Korea. Oh, collides there for a second. Lee has it for Korea. Puck comes into the slot area. Picked up by the Chinese. Here's a chance in front. Scramble in front of the Korean net. They still battle for it in front. Where's the puck? It's still loose. Comes to China on the side of the goal. They'll play it back to the blue line now. Held in by Hong Xu. Quickly across. Chui leaves it there. Young Jian Wu to the front of the net. Loose puck. They score. Hong Wan Lee puts it home on the doorstep. And China leads 4-1. And you see the frustration for Yuk Jun Che there. Got a lot of this shot, but not enough of it. Korea not getting the puck out when they get opportunities to do so. And the Chinese getting shots through. Not too many teams outside of Canada, USA in this tournament have been able to get pucks through to the front of the net like the Chinese have. And the goaltender Che frustrated, but you're in a great double-A spot like that in front of the net for Lee. Hard to blame the goalie. Lee's second of the tournament. 4-1 China. They continue to press. Zhu Zhang Wang sends it around the net for Xiao Dong Sung. Front of the goal. Second chance. That was blocked by the defenseman Ryu. Back at the line. Liu for China. Sends a knuckle puck in from the blue line. And it's gloved out of the air by Shea for the stoppage. Yeah, quick glove there by Shea on that point shot. And the Chinese now, Darren, have scored 26 goals and given up three in this tournament. Good hard battle in front. There's the goal for Lee, one of the young players on this Chinese team. And boy, is their future bright. In Kung Kim to the blue line, held in by Yan Fu Zhu. China's got to regroup and neutralize. Oh, almost a turnover and a chance for Kim to get away. Instead, Shin. Broken up by Sung. Good battle in the neutral zone now. Zhu Zheng Wang. Drops that puck off and with speed is Xiao Dong Sung. Rubbed into the boards by Lee. Sung. Long feed forward and this will go for icing against Korea. No, it won't. Soon Hyung Jung beats out the icing, and there's some speed. Now down low. China's going to get away. Up ahead to center ice. Looking for an outlet pass. Great stick handling. Right through the neutral zone. Dian Dong. Right wing side still tied up along the walls before Lee will get that puck forward. This won't have enough for icing either. Shen back after it. Look at that skating. Puts on the binders. And drops it back. On the breakup. At center ice. Jin Tao Tian. One touch for Shen. Yi Fong Shen. Always dangerous every time he's on the ice. Now Jin Zheng. Jung waits right side. Tried to center it in front. It was behind Tian. Now Gunjian Wu to the line for Shen. Shot was blocked. It's underneath. Shen has it again. Looks for the outlet to the wall for Tian. Tian spinning back at the blue line. Wu was unable to handle it. Jung with Wu waiting back at the blue line. He comes in for Shen. Being watched by Yung Sung Kim. Shen, right wing side. Looks for that outlet, plays it into the corner. Walking right out, back door, and Wong was right there. Korea, mounting more pressure. 22 seconds to go in the period. Tien to the front of the goal for Shen. That was knocked away neatly by Shen. Now trying to walk in again. One move scores! Banked it in off the Korean defender. And Jin Tao Tian has extended the lead late in the first. 
in the Chinese in zone cycle game daring to be so so dizzying and this one in off of the goal scorer for Korea Soon Wan Jung as it was thrown maybe going wide and you can see the frustration on the Korean superstar Soon Wan Jung he bangs the crossbar and it's 5-1 China on nine shots they have been dizzyingly fast in this first period. Have they ever the speed a problem for the Koreans. They've battled in tough at times. They've shown that they can play with the Chinese too. But with three and a half seconds to go here in the opening period they're going to head to the locker room down five to one. And I just want to say a very quick hello to Matt Fergenbaum's parents there, Marty and, Mon Morty and Monica in uh, Thornhill, Ontario, Canada. Watching in here, didn't want to make you wait past the first period to say hello, so hello. Love to see the folks watching all across the world. 15 minutes in the books here in our second quarter final. On the line, a date in Saturday's semi with the USA. China leading Korea five to one after one here at the World Para Ice Hockey Championships in Moose Jaw. Is it time to take your event online? Bring it to IKS Live. We've got a fully customized virtual event platform with remote guest support for your next fundraiser, talk show, conference, performance, and more. IKS Live offers live streaming to Facebook Live and YouTube and pre-recorded capabilities, both in our studio with green screen available and on location with pre-production and post-production services. Visit us at ikslive.ca. depend on ESSO to be the place between places, connecting you to what's next. Good morning! So I got another parking ticket. Play 92, number one for throwbacks. It's Kyler for Play 92. We'll catch you later. It's your online portal to all things Moose Jaw. It's everything, all in one location. Find it all at discovermoosejaw.com. Mission Control, can we access the internet through that satellite? Confirming, GeoSatellite is internet capable. Uh, why do you ask? Hello? Are you streaming music right now? What y'all trying to do?
One spot in Saturday's semifinals still up for grabs. China and Korea on the final day of the quarterfinals here, the second of two quarterfinals earlier today. We saw Czechia defeating Italy 4 0. And in period number one, it was all China 5 1. Early on, though, it was back and forth. Teams trading uh, power play goals. There was chances at both ends. It was fairly even through the first half of that period until China really uh, took the brakes off and started rolling. Well, again, Korea taking some penalties. That didn't help. They can't seem to kill a penalty. Korea, you mentioned that there, and the Koreans did a great job of rallying, coming back. They got a big goal from their talisman, Jung. But the Chinese, right now, it's hard to see someone stopping them tonight, at least, Darren. They're relishing this opportunity tonight. Yeah, power plays a big story in that first period. Uh, China two for two, Korea scored on their lone power play opportunity. It's important for both these teams to be disciplined the rest of the way. But the story in that opening period was the Chinese speed. The speed was a problem for the Koreans. We saw it in the first game when a B pool team played an A pool team. The B pool team had a trouble with the speed. Now it's an A pool team having trouble with the speed and that's the Koreans as we look at some of these highlights and it's a lot of the yellow Chinese jerseys pouncing on opportunities, pouncing on open space. The Koreans came out aggressive. They didn't want to sit back like they had maybe against the Canadians, especially when they were really hammered by Canada. And they tried to really pressure the Chinese and you saw the goal there on the power play there on a beautiful feed out in front. Jung with the finish for his second and Korea's second of the tournament, but there you see it. Puck turned over, sort of a three on O. Wang not gonna miss that. And he's one of the premium young players in the world for a reason, and I'm not sure too many players at this tournament would miss that anyways. You see another situation where there's a breakdown in it coming up in a second is Chua did everything he could in the Korean net. Just only so much he could do on some of these Great double A opportunities. That was the one that he wanted back as a man alone in front. One on two there for the Chinese, able to get a shot off. Wasn't the hardest shot in the world. And Choi, a little frustrated with himself afterwards, got enough of it, he thought, but it went under the armpit and into the net. And the good times kept rolling. This time it bounced in off of Sung Won Jung. The Korean goal scorer. Maybe he was going wide had he not touched it. Hard in that situation facing your net not to touch that, but it is what it is. And the Chinese with a deserved 5-1 lead, as you mentioned, Darren, their speed causing a lot of panic from the Koreans. So big second period upcoming. Young Sung Kim and the Koreans and Yi Fang Shen. Getting on the scoreboard in that opening period, a goal and an assist for China. Extending his lead atop the tournament scoring leaders. Now 12 goals, two assists for Shen of Korea. And you don't think, Darren, he wants a chance to show the Americans that he's no fluke, he's not just a B-pool crusher, that he can really play with Team USA you know the Americans are watching close. Boy, if the Koreans can't come back in this one, will that be a fun one tomorrow? Korea off the opening face off for the second period underway. Young Song Cho trying to get that puck in deep. Oh, flipped neatly by Sun Hyung Jung. Jung to the goal, and that was just a few inches wide of that far post. Kim at the blue line, long shot dribbles towards the net. Wei Wang makes the save. And they'll hang on. Early pressure from the Koreans here in the second. Yeah, kind of a double tip in front of Wei Wong. Their beautiful little flip into space for Jung. He's an old vet. He knows what he's doing and putting pucks into space and chasing after. It's a great way to go about it. Double tip in front. Wei Wang with a great opportunity and an even better save right there from the Chinese goalie. Soon Hung Jung who you saw, number 14, he's in the corner after it for Korea. As the team's only two goals in the tournament. Now Shen racing after it, electric for China. Yi Fong Shen. 
Knocked off the puck there from Young Sung Kim. Still tied up along the wall. Squirts free to Dong Shin Chan. And he'll send it away to center ice. First minute of the second period has passed. And still 5-1 to one here for China after a great first period. Game was tied at 1 until the 7.28 mark. And Yi Fang Shen broke open the lead. Now a chance for Tian for China. Buck was loose underneath. And Ji Huan Ryu will flip it to center ice. Back after it, Hong Chu. Broken up by Li. Chung Young Li for Korea. Battling with Tian, and China comes away with it. Sending it wide to the blue line. And right back in by In Tol Yu. Korea with the line change. And China will start the breakout. Final game of the day. Our second quarter final is an offside here against Korea. Right at the Chinese blue line. Saw the Korean coach, Dai Him, Dai Han Kim, Dai Ho Kim, pardon me, applauding his team's effort to start the second period. There's been no quit, no back down from this Korean team. You saw Jung with the opportunity, a couple chances from the point as well, forcing some saves from Wei Wong. Chinese more than often than not go with Yan Zhao, Ji, and Net, but Wang looking very capable himself. Kung Moon Shin for Korea, giving chase into the corner. China will flip this all the way through the neutral zone. Yu Tao Chui giving chase, but it's an icing call as In Tol Yu gets there first for Korea, and the faceoff coming right back down at the other end. When you think about what's ailed Korea as well this tournament, uh, ability to inability to kill penalties. They've now given up eight power play goals on 14 opportunities. That is a problematic situation if you were trying to pitch some upsets. They changed their penalty kill up in this game, trying to be far more aggressive. And it hasn't really mattered. The Chinese found a way anyways, but they were adjusting. Only the one game against Canada where they were five, gave up five on six chances. The other times they had really tied, tightened things up, but that's really derailed their opportunities in this one. Just a little conversation between Matt Fergenbaum, the referee, and the timekeepers. Look at the Chinese bench. Plenty of, of uh, Chinese supporters in the building here in Musha in the community. Another icing call here against China. Judong Wong won't be able to beat out the icing call. And now starting to slow things down in the second period a little bit. Little mini history lesson for you. Of course, uh, a very long history of Chinese immigration to Western Canada and to the prairies to work on the railway and in all sorts of industry and business out here in the West. So it's not just new immigrants. There's been Chinese people in Canada for a very, very long time. Center ice now, Young Sung Kim. I like history lessons with Nugsy. We've got to implement that more regularly into our broadcast. There you go. Back at the blue line. Big collision. Hong Wan Lee for China, and he's away. Three of them away. In front. It's the captain off the crossbar. Yi Tao Chui with a rocket. Looking for more as it's out to center ice. That had smoke on it. China again, Yi Tao Chui. Oh, lost control of the puck. Sent into the corner by Byung Song Cho. Chan Fu Zhu up ahead to center ice. Chui chips it but doesn't get a lot on it. Soon Hyung Zhang for Korea to center. And Chui will start again with help from Zhu. Left side. Zhu Dong Wang. Knocked off the puck. Now a battle ensues in the corner. Comes back up to the blue line. Zheng Ji and Wu. Long shot. Blockered away. Good stop there. Yi Tao Chui for China. Back up top. Zhu Liu. Now to the front of the net. Nobody there for China. Korea will be able to get that away. 
just behind Ji Hyun Ryu. Not a center. Wu was trying to poke that past the China, Korea defenseman. It didn't work. Now Lee in the corner. We'll leave it there for Zhudong Wang. Back up top. Young Ji and Wu try to feather it into the high slot. That's going to miss. And Shun Young Lee will send it back to the Chinese blue line. Four and a half minutes have expired in the second period. Still 5 1 China. A date with the Americans in Saturday's semifinal on the line here tonight. China. The break on a short side and the dribbles the shot in on goal. And it's hung on to by Hyuk Jun She, the Korean netminder. Plenty of action at both ends of the ice here in the second period. But so far, the score remains the same. China 5, Korea 1 at the World Para Ice Hockey Championships. Kick off spring in style with new offers from Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Costco is back, and eligible members can receive a $750 bonus on select trucks and full-size SUVs. Step into the powerful 2022 Chevy Silverado or 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 with low financing rates starting at 1.49% for up to 72 months. Drive in comfort and style with the versatile 2023 Equinox and 2023 Terrain featuring standard heated seats, advanced safety features, and a modern infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay or opt for the spacious and refined 2023 Buick Enclave with standard all-wheel drive, starting from as low as 2.99% financing. Don't miss out on these limited time offers. Visit us today to experience the thrill of driving. Just a key moment here where Sung Wan Jung blocked a shot in front of his own net. Good hard shot from Hu and it hit number 14, their talisman. He's been seen getting some treatment on the bench. Didn't feel good after that one, Darren. We'll keep an eye on that. China continuing to press, though, here in the second period. Puck comes to the line. And Korea will get it out. Ye Ha Shang to center. And he'll give chase here as China works the puck up to center ice. Xiao Dong Sung to center. Broken up by Shang of Korea. Another hard hit there by To Hong Shang. Now on the left wing, Xiao Dong Sung drops it off. The blue line, Hong Chu. Chu's shot. And that was blocked on the way through by Shin of Korea. Still tied up along the wall. And Jian Wu battling in the corner. He has it. Tried the drop pass to the blue line. Didn't get enough of it until you will get it to the line and out. And this China touches the puck. The whistle goes on the offside. Yeah, it's been a good second for Korea, Darren. They really haven't quit. They've fought back in all sorts of ways they can. As you get a look here, Yeeha didn't like that collision. It gives them a little jab. You think there's love lost between these two. Again, they know each other pretty well. Koreans really invested in their program after the Pyeongchang Olympics, the Chinese invested in their program, of course, for 22, and here we are, fierce rivalry. Yeah, a rivalry that's building with more games like this at the world's biggest stage. Both of these teams hoping to be in Italy for the next Paralympic Games in 2026. Be willing to wager the Chinese are probably going to be there. Well, they're working their way up the world rankings, no doubt. Becoming a top five team in the world. And soon, they're going to be a top three team in the world consistently. You would think, and of course, it was only a, sort of a bureaucratic thing that made the Chinese be in the B pool as they were a new program. But here's an opportunity, Darren, for Korea to try to mount something here in this quarterfinal. Back to the power play. The Koreans are one for one. 6.22, the time of the penalty. 
here in the second period. As Jiu Liu is in the box for China. That goes just through the crease and out the other side. Jan Fu Zhu got the puck ahead for Shen. Shen lifts a shot high and well wide. Good chance, shorthanded from China. Puck sent right back in. Sun Hyung Jung on it for Korea. The near side, Yung Sung Kim. And now Shan behind the net for Jung. The center ice, nobody there on the outlet pass, so Jin Jung for China. will play it over to Jan Vu Ju. Ju connected with his own man, Tian. Moving forward, Chung Yung Lee, but we got an offside right at the Chinese blue line. So 48 seconds left in the power play. And outside of an early chance, nothing going right for Korea. Look where Yi Feng Shen is penalty killing, waiting for a stretch pass at the offensive blue line. Just look at that where he ends up here. That's on a penalty kill, folks. And he realizes that his offense is maybe the best penalty kill China has. Very dangerous. Now sending Zhu Dong Wang in after it for China. Wang, oh, great stick handling through the leg. Now up in front, a shot. He put it right underneath. Now, Wong, what's a shot go? Whoa, what a rip. Back at the blue line, held in by Chiu. And now the Koreans will get it out to center ice. Korea's on the power play here, but China continuing to press. Junong Wong, last control of it. In to grab it is Shin. Shin fires it in deep. And Jian Wu for China. Off the end boards. That's right into the sled of Intel Yu. Now lost in some traffic. Still tied up. Where's the puck? And it's sent to the blue line and all the way down the ice. The penalty's over. So this could be icing, and it will be. No. Beating out the icing. Yu Tao Chui, the Chinese captain. Trying to dig that puck free. Sent around the boards by Zhang Ho Chong. Held in by China at the blue line momentarily. And now Ji Hyung Ryu can't clear. Inside six minutes to go here in the second period. Back at the blue line. China with all kinds of pressure now. Zhidong Wang still with it. Up top for Shen. Yi Feng Shen a shot right into the glove of Yuk Jun She. And he'll hang on for the faceoff. Korea can't capitalize on the power play, but these two teams battling in the quarterfinal, the World Para Ice Hockey Championships in Moose Jaw. fun here on a Friday night in Moose John. Why wouldn't they? The Para Ice Hockey Championships have been a ton of fun. And we're almost through our third last day of competition. We're going to be in the semifinals on Saturday and the medal games on Sunday here in Moose John. China continuing to press. They lead five to one. 
But nobody's been able to score here in the second period. Jan Fu Zhu. Zhu. Right through the slot. Out the other side. Dian Pong. Let a shot go. And Shea handled that in the Korean net. Centering pass. Up in front. Pong. Dropped it off. Nobody can hold the line. For Korea, a chance. Young Sung Kim couldn't get away. Now into the corner. Be picked up by Sho. Sho. He's got Kim in front. Couldn't get the pass into him. China clears all the way down the ice. Jan Fu Zhu is on it for China. Zhu. He's got a little bit of help and Wong going to the front of the net. Zhu lost it off the end boards. Now plays it in the left wing corner for Pong. Dian Pong. Down low for Zhu. Jan Fu Zhu for Dian Pong. It's behind him. Now he found it. Pong back to the blue line. And the Chinese can't hold it in at the line. Ju turning at center. A feed to the left side. Shed makes a move. Waits. Now shoots and a big stop. Hyuk Jun Shea. Another save in the Korean net as the tournament's leading scorer, Yi Fong Shen, was bearing down in all alone. What a save by Choi right here on Yi Feng Shen. Not many people have been able to stop this guy, boy oh boy. But uh, there's one. Let's see how many times we can count teeing penalties that weren't called. Coming up here, there's two. There's another one, number seven coming in. That's three. There's maybe, f there's four. Yeah, it's getting mean out there, Darren. Chance right in front. Tian with the opportunity for China. Puck comes back to the blue line. Hong Chu. In front, that was just out of the reach of Jin Tiao Tian. Tian now, he's got some speed. Puck dropped off and a shot. Oh, that rattled off the post. Another good chance. China with pressure now. Yi Fong Shen. Down into the corner. And Jian Wu giving chase. Tong Ho Chong for Korea was battling along down there. Tien now. The near wall or far wall, sorry, for Wu. Up top for Shen. Shen into the slot. Not a lot of room. Good pressure defensively from Ryu of Korea. Now Shen. Look at a move. Shen twisting and turning. Back and forth. Now pushes it back to the blue line for Hong Chu. Chu back for Shen. Shen, oh, hard backdoor feed. Couldn't hook up with Jin Zhang. And the Koreans will get it out to center ice. Two and a half minutes to go here in the second period. China circling again. Jin Zhang has Shen drop feed. Shen. Down below the goal line. Looks for the outlet, spins. Now centering past Tian, waits, makes a move to the left side and a shot dribbles wide into the right wing corner. Dong Shin Shan for Korea now. Up ahead to center, knocked off the puck but Ryu picks it up over center. Delayed penalty call coming to China. And as they touch the puck in their own zone, Korea is gonna go back to the power play. It will be their third power play opportunity. Their lone goal coming on the man advantage. So we're going to see a teeing penalty called here. Little push off. That looks, looked less vicious than some of the ones that weren't called, but there you go. It, it did take away a scoring chance, so we'll, we'll call it that. But let me tell you what, Darren. This is not a friendly game right now. There's not a lot of prisoners being taken right now. It is mean out there right now. It is definitely getting intense. But Korea's got to find a way to score. The last power play looked a lot like the start to this one. China continuing to apply pressure. Their speed is dangerous even when shorthanded. Korea's got to start from deep inside their own zone. And Chun Young Lee to center. Now Sun Young Jung. Jung 
Drops it off, set forward, intercepted, and China will clear it back down the ice. 35 seconds into the power play. Chun Young Lee with some pressure. Up ahead to the Young Sung Kim to center now, and it's into the Chinese zone. Another chance to clear, and they will. Good hard shot down the ice. Now Lee will try again on the breakout. Lee. For Kim, into the final minute of the period. Korea. Across the line now, Byung Sung Cho to the right side for Kim, and that's broken up. Zhu Liu in the battle for China pokes that puck forward, and Lee corrals it back at the Korean line. 25 seconds to go in the period. Korea is still on the power play, feathered forward, but that was just in behind Zhang Ho Chang. 15 seconds. Sent all the way down the ice. China content to just kill off the final seven seconds. Will Korea do the same? Into the goaltender, and he'll hang on with 2.8 seconds to play. And we're going to see an awesome defensive play by Dong Xin Chang right here. Battle along the boards with Xi Liu. And he saves about a three on O the other way, Darren, because. There are about three yellow jerseys steaming up the ice if Jang doesn't find a way to pin that puck up against the boards. Little detailed play by the Koreans right there. Excellent work by Jung. So they'll drop the puck. The Koreans win it. And the second period is over. So the score doesn't change in the second period. The intensity ramping up. Korea applying a little pressure, but unable to close the gap. 15 minutes remaining in our final quarter final here on a Friday night at the World Para Ice Hockey Championships in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada.
Is it time to take your event online? Bring it to IKS Live. We've got a fully customized virtual event platform with remote guest support for your next fundraiser, talk show, conference, performance, and more. IKS Live offers live streaming to Facebook Live and YouTube and pre-recorded capabilities, both in our studio with green screen available and on location with pre-production and post-production services. Visit us at ikslive.ca. Every trip, you can depend on ESSO to be the place between places, connecting you to what's next. Good morning! So I got another parking ticket. Play 92, number one for throwbacks. It's got it for Play 92. We'll catch you later. It's your online portal to all things Moose Jaw. It's everything, all in one location. Find it all at discovermoosejaw.com. Mission Control, can we access the internet through that satellite? Confirming, GeoSatellite is internet capable. Uh, why do you ask? Hello? Are you streaming music right now? What y'all trying to do? Fifteen minutes, all that remains on a Friday night here at the Moose Jaw Event Center, the World Para Hockey Championships, China and Korea. The winner will face the USA in Saturday's semifinal. Alongside Jamie Nugabauer, Darren DuPont back with you here for your third period of play. Jamie, much tighter second period. China continuing to skate really fast, but Korea's figured out how to defend the speed and push back a little bit. Well, I think they defended the speed by pushing back a little bit, Darren. I think there has been a serious uptick in what has made the Koreans the Koreans the last little while, and that is their physicality. They are known as a physical, heavy, punishing team, and they finally showed it in that second period, Darren. It was getting intense. I think it's going to continue to get intense as we enter the third period. How does Korea find a way to get more offense besides spend more time on the power play? Well, that's that's a big question. I'm sure Taiho Kim is trying to figure it, it, it figure it out himself in that Korean locker room. First step is to get pucks deep into the Chinese zone. It's all well and good to hit and to be physical if you're not in the right areas of the ice to use those hits to generate turnovers. Shots on goal number four for Korea. Not enough. Not even close to enough. Those five goals for China, either power plays, D-zone breakdowns for Korea. And Darren, it's all about the Koreans finding a way to get the puck into the Chinese zone, work down low, keep it simple, and take away that Chinese speed. Well, if you watch that second period, you saw more speed from the Chinese, especially when shorthanded is, you get a look, another great shot, you know, by Chiu, the uh, captain of the Chinese. Yeah, and the Chinese... Love to kill penalties by going on the attack. They don't really show respect. They don't sit back. They go to the attack. They have neutral zone breakouts. And there I mentioned the Koreans are physical. The Koreans are not sitting back and waiting for the Chinese to pounce on them and destroy them. It's a very, very aggressive Chinese attack in all situations. As Shen Yi Feng, another goal. Another assist here today, too. He's been everywhere at all times, but it was a hit fest in that second period. There were no goals to speak of, but it was very entertaining for the neutral just because of the rough stuff. If you like the rough stuff, they found it. Of course, a lot of the countries in our world have bigger ice surfaces than we tend to here in Canada, as you see a great sieve there from Choi. So it's a little bit easier even on this ice surface for the Koreans to find the Chinese to lay some of those punishing hits. The Chinese haven't backed off from that at all. But if you're a fan of the rough stuff, stay tuned in because it doesn't look like it's going to stop there. It's going to continue to get uh, crazy here in the third period. As we get set to start the third period. 
China with a 5-1 lead. A date with the Americans in Saturday's semifinal on the line. And reminder, too, that the other semifinal already set. Canada and Czechia will have a rematch of Canada's second to last game of the group stage. Of course, Canada won that one two to one. A very tight checking game, Darren. Should be interesting as well. It'll be a lot of fun. 15 minutes remaining here tonight. Jin Tao Tian on the face off against Chun Young Lee of Korea. Matt Fergenbaum to drop the puck and we're underway in the third. Face off won by Korea, Dong Shin Chan. Being pressured by Tien, puts it off the wall and it's a quick icing call to start the third period, just 12 seconds in. Tomorrow morning will be the 7-8 game as Norway meets Germany in the early game. The winner of this game plays the United States in the middle game of the day, and Canada will face Czechia in the late game, the second of the two semifinals. And the Chinese, they got big goals in this tournament from Shen, big goals from Wang, but tonight, Darren, five different goal scorers, kind of a new format for the Chinese. <laughs> Pretty interesting stuff. Now they've showed they can spread the offense around a little bit, getting everybody involved. Now Tien. Tien a shot on the short side. Stopped by Shea. Tien again. Drops the puck off for Hong Chu to the side of the goal. Banks off the end boards. Puck is loose. Shea thought he had it. Shen now. Yi Fong Shen puts it right through the slot, through the two defenders, and all the way down the ice. So China's got to skin all the way back after it and regroup. First minute of this third period has expired. Yu Dong Wong pinned along the boards with Chun Yung Lee. Back of the net, rimmed around to the blue line, held in by Shan. Right back in, Sun Young Kim. China will start the breakout now. Yung Jian Wu. All the way up ahead. Clean feed. Jian Fu Zhu walking in. The shot stopped by Shea. Great chance, and that play was just onside. More from China. In front, Hong Wan Lee couldn't get it on goal. And Chun Young Lee for Korea will play it off the boards. Byung Song Cho. Little slow getting to the puck, couldn't get there in time. So Jan Fu Zhu will turn things around for Shen. Quickly up ahead for Zhu Dong Wong. Wong across the Korean blue line. Now with support from Lee. Lee's got Wong going to the net, but stripped of the puck nicely by Sun Young Zheng. And the Koreans will relieve a little pressure. Two and a half minutes gone in the third period and offside at the Korean blue line. And a huge key to the Chinese success, Darren, is not only that they've got great speed, but their defensemen are such immaculate passers as Ju is the recipient of this feed from all the way back in the Chinese zone. They can really zip a puck through the neutral zone and that'll be key to stretching out the Canadian and American defenses if China can get a chance to face that American team in the semis. Should be interesting. Side of the net. China continuing to put on more pressure. Xiu couldn't get that puck free. Now back at the blue line for Zhu. Zhu spinning. Turns back. Zhu to the middle for Zhu Dong Wang. Trying to go to the back door. Yi Tao Chui in on it now. Chui moves back to find more room. Leaves it there for Zhu. Chan Fu Zhu. 
Knocked off his stick for a second. Down for Shui. Shui, oh, nifty move to walk right in a shot. And that was blocked on the way through. Back out to center ice now. They'll start again. Ju. Twisting and turning for Zhidong Wong. He's got speed over the Korean blue line. But Yi Tao Chui was in ahead of the play. Offside. And the Koreans have really done a nice job limiting the Chinese opportunities since that first period, Darren. No goals since then, and they've really just stepped it up, played their game plan. You'd think it would have been their game plan from the beginning to really try to get in China's face. And for the first time really in this tournament, I feel like, Darren, the Chinese have not been as connective as they were in that first period and earlier in this tournament the last couple of periods. Dian Pong off the draw, turns back along the wall. Tried to play it forward, it was broken up. And Dong Shin Chan to the side wall. Yung Sung Kim for Korea. Now Chun Young Lee helping out. Held in by China. Right in the slot, long shot from outside. It was a tough one. Xiao, Xiao Dong Sung back to the blue line. For Hong Chu. Chu. Back up for Zheng Ji and Wu, and it squeaks past the blue line. Xiao Dong Sung with some speed now. He'll rim it all the way around the boards. Good hard check along the wall by Zheng Zheng Wang, but it's cleared out to center ice. Played four and a half minutes of a third period. We haven't seen any scoring since back in the first when China was able to score four straight and open up a 5-1 lead. Now in the slot. Xu Zheng Wang back to the blue line. And Jian Wu still tied up. Wu trying to get to it. And the Korea will clear it up to center ice. Hong Chu will start the breakout for China. China into the quarterfinals. A 10-1 win over Italy, a 5-1 win over Norway, and a 7-0 win over Germany in the preliminary round. They lead 5-1 here in the quarterfinal over Korea. Jang Ho Chong now flipping it forward. Yi Feng Shen back after it. The shifty Chinese superstar. Long feed. Oh, connects with a couple. Tien. Had it, but he was a little shaken up on that collision. Wong shot in on goal, handled by Wei Wang. More from China now. Centering pass to the middle for Tien. Tien over the blue line, plays onside. Tien, long shot that was blocked by Chong. And right to the goaltender, who will hang on and cover up. Everybody on their feet now as we get towards the end of this one. China over Korea, five to one in the third period. nine minutes and two seconds if they're going to climb out of this four goal deficit in the third period and advance to Saturday's semifinal. Right now China holding on to a 5-1 lead. The prize here's a chance for Korea. They score! Right on cue Byung Song Cho! 
And the Chinese lead is cut to three. And you know what they say, Darren? Three goal lead the new two goal lead, and that's the most dangerous lead in hockey. Korea needed somebody other than Sung Wan Jung to stamp, step up, and Byung Suk Cho was the guy that a lot of people had as Korea's sort of 1B star, and just a shot from the half wall that surprised Wei Wang. He kind of overslid, but what a beautiful shot that was by Byung Suk Cho. Right time, Darren, hockey game on. The Koreans played a much better structured defensive game through the second and most of the third, rewarded right there. See if the Koreans can grab some momentum here off of that. The goal score, Byung Sung Cho sent it all the way in. His first of the tournament, 5-2 now. So now China will work the puck from deep inside their own zone. The Koreans have found some energy here in the third period. Puck sent forward. First on it for China, Hyung Chu. Chu to the near wall. Short feed up ahead for Zhu Dong Wong. Zhu Dong Wong. So dangerous for the Chinese, and here he is, a shot on goal. Stopped by Hyuk Jun Shea. Zhidong Wong, six goals in the tournament. Almost had another. Yeah, that was some nifty mitts from Zhidong Wong. How do you do? See you later. Yi Ha Song, see you later. Dong Shin Jang, and then only some excellent goaltending from Hyuk Jun Choi, who's been fantastic in this game. Got to give him credit too. The exception of maybe one of those Chinese goals you would have had back, but that would have been one of the highlights of the goals of the tournament had that gone in. We got a hurt Korean in the behind the play. So the whistle will go as Zhang Ho Shan uh, Cho, sorry, is uh, back of the Korean zone, and Zhang will. Is uh, that happy about something? Maybe the hit that he took. So he's got words for the official. They're having a conversation here. Matt Fergenbaum with Dylan Daphne and Andrew Lunden. Get a look, see if we can find it. Watch 55 on the radio screen. I didn't see it right off the draw. Yeah, it felt like he felt like he was hit in the head there and a oh, yeah. swipe, swipe from behind there. The back of the head. That went unseen. Great job by the camera crew, I believe, by Jin Tao Tian. That's some dirty stuff. Face off coming outside the Chinese blue line. 7.22 to go here in the third period. And it's been physical. The Chinese try to give it back maybe a little bit. As you look at one of the young players, maybe the only really young player on this Korean team, the only one born in 2000 and later, or one of the two, pardon me, Yeha Song, who's been real involved, especially physically today. Public enemy number one, one of them, I guess, Yeha Song for the Koreans, and he got one right there. Tied up behind the Korean goal. Yi Fong Shen, there he is, number 17 in goal. Back at the blue line. Shen inside the circle. It was tied up and stripped by Yung Sung Kim. Back for Lee. Plays it to an open wall. In to grab it, hard collision there between teammates. Zhu. Now to center ice, it's Lee. Chung Young Lee for Korea. Rubbed off the puck there by Chu Liu. And an offside right at the Chinese blue line. Boy, does this game have a spicy feel to it. 6.26 to go in the third, and the Koreans trying to generate something. Sung Wan Chung trying to undercut the play to 
get a little bit of an edge. Ended up going offside as a result. Two goals for him. And uh, certainly, as advertised, the finisher for this Korean team. It doesn't feel like we're close to being over. No, nope. Not tonight. We'll see if the Koreans something to say here. In Tul Yu took a bump, got the puck across the Chinese line. They'll send it right back up. Ji Hun Ryu over the blue line. Long, high shot. Wei Wong handles that and sets it down for Jung Ji and Wu of China. Held in. Jin Hyun Ru. Ryu around the wall. China now. Long centering feed. Right in on goal. And Shea will just not take any chances. And he'll hang on to cover up. Inside six minutes to play. The Chinese lead is now three. Thanks to Byung Song Sho. The Koreans have the momentum in the third period. It's your online portal to all things Moose Jaw. It's everything all in one location. Find it all at discovermoosejaw.com. Mission Control, can we access the internet through that satellite? Confirming, GeoSatellite is internet capable. Uh, why do you ask? Hello? Are you streaming music right now? What y'all trying to do? Xiao Dong Sung and Chun Young Lee to take the face off. Yeah, getting close to bedtime. Here in Moose Jaw, 8.41 p.m. local time. 10.41 on the East Coast. And we welcome you in to Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada, wherever you happen to be watching from this evening around the world. Darren Dupont alongside Jamie Nugabauer. Long feeds past everybody, but there will be no icing. Xiao Dung Sung for China won that puck, but then lost an edge, and the Koreans take over at their own blue line. Yung Sung Kim up ahead. Flipped in by Sun Hyung Jung. China now playing it off the wall. Chance shaping up for an odd man rush, but they'll just slap that puck in. Chung Yung Lee on it for Korea. Held in at the line, intercepted. Zhudong Wong to the middle. Quick shot right on. And Hyuk Jung She will hang on to that one as Jung Jian Wu dangerous here in the slot. Hyuk Jun Choi's rebound control has been excellent in this game, and that's really what's kept the Chinese shots down. There's more rough stuff there, but. What a great job Hyuk Jun Choi has played really well in this game, especially since the fifth goal. And you got to keep it up. Buck sent back out through the neutral zone now. And Ju Liu turning back for Tian. Up ahead to center ice for Zhu Dong Wong. A little trouble with the puck in the neutral zone for Hong Wong Lee, so they'll turn back and reset, try again. Zhidong Wong dropping it off. Up ahead, Lee, again off the end of his stick, having a bit of a rough shift. 4.14 to go in the third period. Turning back, Zhen Fu Zhu, now up off the wall for Wong. Zhidong Wong, quickly ahead, Hong Wong Lee. One on one, Lee to the right side. A shot, he scores! Hong Wan Lee, second of the game, third of the tournament. And the four goal lead is restored at six to two, China. That was a pretty shot. Boy, oh boy, he had the Korean defender there. 
circling back. Jong Ho and just a rip with the right hand of Hong Wan Lee. Try to go with the glove was Choi, but a step behind, but just a better finish. Big goal for China right there. A big goal to restore the four goal lead after the Koreans had found one. We'll get a timeout call now from the Koreans. And they really got to press now and might, you see the net empty. As you got to throw everything at the Chinese now. One last shot to get into the semifinal. And why not, right? What's the difference between 7-2 and 6-2 if you're Korea? You got to get pucks in deep. You got to throw everything out long way. Probably wasn't thrilled with the goal he gave up on the second Korean goal. So you take some confidence from that if you're Korea and you just put every piece of rubber you can towards the Chinese net. Long ways only faced eight shots here today. 3.55 to go. What do you have to lose if you're Korea? All smiles here in Canada, the World Para Ice Hockey Championships. And a face off. Face off will be down inside the Chinese end. Looked like uh, Matt Firkenbaum, the referee, was signaling a high stick on the puck, I believe. They're talking it over there. Ryan Dauphiny out of Nova Scotia on the left. Andreas Lundin, the linesman on the right. And there's Matt Fergenbaum out of Ontario, Canada. He is uh, an insurance broker, by the way, in uh, the Toronto area by day. Face off in the Chinese zone. We're less than four minutes away. From the conclusion, here are the quarterfinals. Puck still tied up now inside the face-off circle. One of the Korean goal scorers, Byung Sung Cho, battling, looking for that loose puck, along with Jan Fu Zhu, who's got a couple of assists for China tonight. Puck comes back to the blue line. Jung Sung Kim holds it in for a second, and Xiu to center ice. Ju Liu ahead. That was just behind Hong Wan Lee. Three minutes, two seconds to go in the third. Now Lee turning back and driving across the Korean line. Hong Wan Lee moves in, waits the shot, fought off, stop, rebound. Lee, oh, drove right to the net, followed the shot, and Hyuk Jung Che kept it out. Back at the blue line. More pressure from China. Yi Tao Chui in the corner. It's Sun Hyung Jung to the line, and it will come out. Byung Sung Cho left it there at center. Now China trying to work that forward, but Dong Xin Chan coming in, breaks it up, and sends it all the way in deep. We watch the Korean net, 2.14 to go. Trailing by four. Long lead feed. Zhu Dong Wang for China. Sends it all the way in. Ji Huan Ryu for Korea can't clear. Behind Zhu Liu, up ahead, Zhu Dong Wang, shoulder saved by Shea. Wang on it now. Wang twisting and turning back and forth. Fanned on his first pass attempt, now just leaves it there for Zheng Ji and Wu. Back of the goal. Picked up by Wong. Zhidong Wong down low. Jan Fu Zhu off the wall. Now Yi Tao Chui. Chui in the circle. Oh, what a rocket. He can really shoot the puck. 
And it comes all the way down off the ricochet back into the Chinese end. And they'll start from their own zone. Keep away from the Koreans right now and protect the four goal lead. One minute to play. The Chinese trying to finish this off and set up a semi-final date with the Americans on Saturday. Long feed. Yi Fong Shen will beat out the icing. Shen up top for Wong. Judong Wong into the slot. Tiana shot. Blocked on the way through. Tian again on the rebound. And it goes in wide. Steered aside. 30 seconds to go. So China and the USA tomorrow afternoon. 5 o'clock Eastern. 3 p.m. local time. And then it's Canada, Czechia in the other semifinal. 9 p.m. Eastern. 5 p.m. local time. Buck back at the line. 10 seconds to go. The Chinese faithful starting to get loud, and they're on their feet here in Musha. A shot, and they'll score. Jin Tao Tian will add an insurance marker late. His second of the game. And it will be China advancing to the semifinals. The bronze medalists at the Beijing Paralympic Winter Games We'll have a chance once again as they'll play in the medal round. Just one second left in this one. Yeah, a little icing on the cake there. Tenacious finish. Not only did China win the bronze and want this one, but they wanted a shot at revenge. They lost 11-0 to the USA at home in the semifinals of the 2022 Beijing Paralympics. You know that didn't sit well with them, Darren. You know they dreamed of revenge. They'll get a shot at it tomorrow. A rematch with the Americans. A date in the semifinals. And a tough defeat for Korea. Their fourth in a row here at the World Para Ice Hockey Championships. And they'll move on and play Italy in the 5-6 game. That will take place Sunday morning. And the uh, Koreans will certainly want to maintain a high ranking for future tournaments. And they'll come out hard tomorrow morning. Yes, China can celebrate. You're off to the semifinals. Let's go to our post-game ceremony here in Musha. Signed print by Saskatchewan-based Indigenous artist. The artist side print is a creative collaboration between Roger Ross and Brandy Jones. This piece was designed specifically for the 2023 World Para Ice Hockey Championship. Inspired by the game itself, the movement created in Brandy Jones's authentic style is meant to mimic the players in full flight. The flag acknowledges the world coming together in spirit of competition, as well as the Métis, Treaty 4, and Saskatchewan flags, which pay homage to the host community, Moose Jaw. Tonight, the awards will be presented by Craig Hemingway, Director of Media and IT for the 2023 World Para Ice Hockey Championship. And Peter Anderson, World Para Ice Hockey Technical Delegate and Chairman of the Moose Jaw 2023 WPIH World Championships. Tonight's player of the game from Team Korea. Number 14, Seung Hwan Jung. Yeah, Seung Hwan Jung had a goal. The opening goal tied it back in the first period on the power play for Korea. Had a couple other chances in this game. And you really thought early on when they scored in the power play that this game was going to be a game. China had other ideas. Yeah, he's the Chinese, the Korean finisher. They uh, got two goals from him in last World Tonight's Championship in 2021. Team China. Number 23, Chui Yutao. 
Great game for the Chinese captain. He opened the scoring way back in the opening period. And was a real leader, controlling the puck in a quarterback of sorts in that offensive attack. And one of the heavier shots at the tournament, he has an absolute cannon of a release. Oh, does he ever? We saw that two or three times. As you'll get the ceremonial photo, and then all that's left here on quarterfinal Friday is to hear the Chinese national anthem. We would now ask that you please rise. If you are able, remove your hats for the playing of the Chinese national anthem. semi-finals of the Para World Ice Hockey Championships. Tomorrow, semi-final Saturday here in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada, China and USA getting underway 5 p.m. Eastern time, 3 o'clock local time. And then it's Canada, Czechia in our second semi-final, 9 o'clock Eastern and 7 p.m. local time. Until then, on behalf of our broadcast crew and all of our broadcast partners around the world, for my color commentator, Jamie Nugabauer, I'm Darren DuPont. Yes, a great evening in Moose Jaw. And thanks for watching the World Para Ice Hockey Championships here in Canada.